welcome to another video. This is your girl Rococo and today I'm gonna give you an introduction about Income Decker in My Secret Bistro. An Income Decker is a type of furniture or decoration in the game. However, the edge of this decoration is that it generates both experience to help you level up and gold coins to help you progress around the game. Alright, so before we start, I would just like to tell you where we can get an income decker. There are six ways to get an income decker. And the first one is very easy, which is the monthly login reward. The second is the mysterious lucky box. The third is the special shop. We have the fourth for furniture shop and fifth is lucky box. And we also have the workshop or you need to craft the income decker. There are items that you are required to get to craft it. Now, without further ado, let's get started. First on our list is the monthly login reward. Now, take note, it's monthly, not daily. You will get your free income decker on the 28th day of your login to the game. And even though it's free, it's not that bad because most of the time it gives 500 to 1 million gold coins and this will really help you especially if you're new to the game or you're a free to play player coming in on the second spot is the mysterious lucky box and this type of lucky box comes only from the vip players so if you want to try the mysterious lucky box you need to tap up on the game and we're talking about real money so this is not ideal for players who doesn't want to spend in the game like me but just so you know you can also get an income decker here running on the third spot is the special shop now special shop is only available for a month or as long as the event is still going so you can get income decker here through collecting an event coin that you will get by helping cleaning up your friend's restaurant or taking an adventure tour now in my experience i don't really have time to get thirty thousand coins to exchange for the income decker because my adventure islands are not yet unlocked and yes i'm lazy <laughs> but yeah uh if you're really into this game then i'm confident that you can get the income decker here and it's totally free all you need to do is just to constantly play the game to get the event coin Taking the fourth spot on our list is the furniture shop. Now you can get here through the furniture and then go to the income decor section of the furniture shop. You can get income decor here by purchasing it with coins or hearts or rubies. And this is where I first purchased my income decor. But... As I play along the game, I realize that buying Income Decker here is a big mistake. So, I now buy my Income Decker in the Lucky Box and that's going to be the next one on our list. Awesome! Now we're down to the non-VIP Lucky Box and this is my favorite and I'm going to tell you why. I really like the non-VIP Lucky Box because you can get like three to four income deckers in one go. But this is like a gamble. So sometimes you purchase and you get crafting materials, coins, or rubies. But that's okay because again, this is a gamble. And it's not always like that. You will still get income deckers. And in my experience, I got three to four income deckers here that gives me like six million gold 
uh, 4 million gold. So it's not that bad. And I really recommend that you purchase here in the non-VIP Lucky Box. And by the way, don't get confused because we have two Lucky Boxes. The mysterious Lucky Box that I mentioned earlier is for VIP. And this one is available for both VIP and non-VIP players. So last but not the least is the workshop. And in the workshop, you're allowed to craft your own income decker. And you can get the crafting materials in the Locky Box. We talked about the Locky Box earlier. And once you get the crafting materials, you can craft the income decker by paying money. So below the income decker, you will see how much you need to pay to be able to craft it. And on top, you will see how many crafting materials you need to create this item. Now that you have an idea what an income decker is and where you can get it, let's go ahead and talk about the kinds of income decker available in the game. The very first income decker that I'm going to show you is the income decker with a booster. Now what I like about this income decker is that it gives you an additional amount of gold coins and experience. But the boost only lasts for a certain amount of time. So you have to take advantage of it. And also... It's available in the Locky Box most of the time, so save up a lot of rubies to get a chance to have one. The game also caters to those who are couples in real life, and they made an income decker specifically for them. This income decker has a Cupid sign on it and will let your profile pictures side by side on top of the income decker. This will let all of your friends know that you are partners. You also have an upgradable income decker in the game. And what I like about this is that it gives you a lot of rewards. And it doesn't take up a lot of space in your restaurant. So it's a good investment, really. Uh, but it's expensive. However, if you're going to ask me, it's a great investment in my secret bistro. Alright, let's talk about the regular income deckers in the game that people can apply a part-time job with. So this income deckers doesn't have any buffs like boosts reward in the game. It just gives you a reward after a certain duration and people can apply on it doesn't have a cupid sign on it it's not upgradable it's just your typical and regular income decker and if you see on the image it has a help sign this indicates that somebody or anybody in the game can, can apply on it okay so all of the income decker that i've tackled so far is open for a part-time job but this type of income decker is quite unique it doesn't offer a part-time job but it generates the same reward it gives experience and gold coins as well but no one can apply for a part-time job here so i don't recommend that you spend your rubies and buy this stuff it's really a waste of time if no one visits your restaurant to apply for a part-time job. Every player in My Secret Bistro must need to know how they can manage their income decker. And if you're new in the game, don't worry because I'm going to tell you how. There are two ways to manage your income decker. And the first one that we have is the manage list. The manage list gives you two types of way to view your restaurant's income decker. The first one is the detailed view and the second one is the simple view. By the name itself, the detailed view gives you a detailed report 
or list of all of your income deckers in the game. The status of the applicants in your part-time jobs. And this is actually my favorite type of view. And the manage list. And I use it a lot. The simple view gives you a very simple way to check all of your income deckers. And I don't recommend this with people who have poor memory because it doesn't have a picture of the income deckers. So of course, you can't memorize all of them. And I just don't like the simple view in the, the manage list, that's all. I think the detailed view is much better than this, but it's really up to you. One thing that I really like about the manage list is that it has a ton of filters and it gives you freedom to really manage all of your income deckers. You can view your income deckers by the highest coin reward or the highest XP. On the side, you can also unclick or untick the Cupid, the up sign for upgradable income decker, and this will give you the income deckers that doesn't have a Cupid sign or the up sign. If you untick the help sign here, you will also see all of the income decker that doesn't offer part-time jobs so it's really really manageable in the manage list if you have an income decker one thing that you need to know is the status of the income deckers that you have in your restaurant so we have the word sent in here sent status will appear if you sent an invite to a friend to apply in your income decker and it's up to them if they're gonna accept to work as a part-time in your income decker or not and you also have the power to cancel that opportunity that you give to them you see this cancel icon over here on top of the shortcut just beside the word sent once you click that the application request that you give your neighbor will be cancelled next we have receive receive status will appear if someone applied to your income decker to work part-time and you have the power to accept or decline them and my point of view i don't decline them all of my income decorators are for free because i like it that people visit my restaurant and it's really a hassle a big hassle to send requests to your neighbors it consumes letters and letters are really expensive in the game because you need to buy it using rubies or event coins the status of your income decker will change automatically to working after accepting an application for part-time job from your friend and below that you will see a blank image this means that that income decker is vacant and nobody applied to it yet and you will see PT request, that means part-time request. If you click that, you can send a part-time invitation to one of your neighbors or friends to work in that specific income decker. Earlier, I mentioned that you can send an invitation to one of your friends to work as a part-timer in your income decker. And this is what they will see in their mailbox. So they have an option to accept your part-time request or decline it. If you notice, every income decker has a duration on how it generates the reward. So once that is done, you will see a reward icon here just beside your friend's 
profile picture and once you click that you will get the reward now that we're done with the manage list let me tell you another way to manage your income deckers and that is by clicking and checking its status one by one and yeah you heard that right you need to manually do that without the detailed report or list in the manage list all right so if you don't want to use the manage list you can apply for a part-time job by clicking the income decker one by one so you see this icon that says help this means that that a specific or particular income decker is vacant and no one has applied to it yet so you can apply to this income decker provided that the owner of that restaurant says that you can apply on it there are certain rules with every restaurant of some of the players in the game but most of the time it's all free once you've chosen the income decker that you want to apply to click it and this screen will pop up click apply and that's all you need to do to apply for a part-time job in case someone applies to your part-time job you will see the status applying and it will have a border that is colored green if you click that you have the option to manually accept them or not a gold coin icon will appear on top of the income decker once it's ready to be claimed and all you need to do is to tap that icon to claim your rewards from your income decker Thank you so much for watching. If you find this video helpful to you, please give it a thumbs up. And see you on my next video. If you have any comments or suggestions for my next video, please comment down. And see you soon. Bye-bye.